This is Warsaw calling. This is Warsaw calling all the free nations. My name is Robert Hawkins, and I am an American war correspondent broadcasting from inside the heart of the besieged Warsaw. What I am about to tell you is a story. A story of ordinary men and women all across Europe who have stood up to Nazi tyranny and oppression. For four years, I have traveled with these remarkable people, partisans, freedom fighters, and home armies. I have lived with them, fought with them, and seen the sacrifices they've made in the name of freedom. I have documented their stories, and now they must be told. This is a story of resistance. Come on, move! I didn't think it would be this bad. It'll get worse before it gets better. We must get back on the barricade. Come on, we must help. Hold the line! Here they come! Attack! Walk it to the barricade. If it moves, kill it. I was in Spain for a time in 38, and there was France. France? Come on, Hawkins, we haven't got all day. Let's go. This way. Voices from the underground, right? You went through my things? I'm just jotting down some thoughts, observations, really. Oh, words can be used as a sword that cuts both ways. Mind you remember that in your observations. This is my mother's homeland. I'm mindful of that every moment I'm here. <laughs> That's good. Rosetta Hawkins, you're late. The Germans aren't on our timetable. Better late than not at all. A policy of your President Roosevelt, I believe. Okay, we are taking St. Cross Church. We will take the Nazis by surprise from two points of entry. Are you in? Consider it done. Can I take Hawkins with me? No, I have another job for him. We need at least two entry points into the church to catch the enemy off guard. I'll see what I can do. That tunnel will bring you close to the school, while this route is the quickest to the station. Get some new gear from Kowalski over there, and good luck. We'll meet later. Kozera, I need you to take a small team of men and ambush that Nazi convoy. You must stop it from getting here. Count on it. You two, you're with me. Let's move. Which do you prefer? My thoughts exactly. You will not be disappointed. Keinen in einem warmen 
Büro. Er hat nicht die geringste Ahnung, was vorgeht. Lieber die Klappe. Er hat seine Augen und Ohren überall. Sie sind hier! Da ist er!
Southern There's a shortcut you can take. Now go, son. On your way. You know Cosera? Know him. He was raised at the Paris orphanage. Now go with God. All of you. There's a metal grate which will lead to the catacombs and then to the church itself. We need to look for a lock. Let's go. You too. You're up. You know what to look for.
Keine Ahnung, was vorgeht. Halt lieber die Klappe. Ich helfe dir morgen früh nicht, die Sauerei wieder wegzumachen. Ha, eigentlich ist er noch nicht mal eine Kugel wert. Ich verjag ihn einfach mit... Ich sehe! 
Are we ready? Yes. I want to thank you. You're proving to be a huge asset to our cause. Like I said, we're all in this together. Indeed. We have two teams stationed. One near the exit from the catacombs, second by the side church wall. You can join Ida and play first fiddle. Cosetta is already waiting for you. I'll get to it, sir. Hawkins, this church is very important. Not only for its strategic value, but as morale booster. To show the men we can fight and win. I write for a living. I know how this works. We'll do our best. Godspeed. I hear you're quite the partisan. And I hear you're quite the ungodly scoundrel. <laughs> I see you met our parson. A good man. You ready to... Good. The men are in position. This way leads to the church where we will detonate the explosives, and this to the catacombs. We've... Let's go. Are we ready? Yes, we're ready. Do the honors. told me how a famous man of words became such a passionate resistance fighter. Been a bit busy lately. <laughs> yes, but uh, I want to know these things to uh, understand. I was in occupied France. It was June 24th, 1940. It's a day I'll never forget. <laughs> 